What was the chilling moment where Count Dooku believed that Yoda had been training in the methods of the dark side of the Force? A moment that shocked Dooku to his core. Yoda was known as the Avatar of the Light and one of the most pure Jedi at not only the time, but the entire Order's history. Beyond this, he was considered to be the most powerful Jedi alive. Through his life of 900 years, it seems a bit implausible to say that Yoda never once got even a little curious about the dark side, and according to the ruminations of Dooku, he believed that Yoda at one point may have given the dark side some study. Greetings again, Acolytes of the Force, and welcome back to the Archives. After joining the Sith, Dooku was dazzled by the powers and possibilities that the dark side provided him, abilities that he could not have achieved following the path of the Jedi. After studying for several years, Dooku gained the opinion that the Sith had superior powers than the natural abilities of the Jedi. Dooku even believed that he was more powerful than Yoda, at least before Geonosis. After witnessing Yoda's real power on that day though, Dooku was rocked to his core, going so far as to believe that perhaps Yoda was not as clean in his studies as he originally thought. So what about this interaction between Dooku and Yoda led the former to believe that Yoda had participated in training in the dark side? The answer, my friends, is quite fascinating and comes from the Labyrinth of Evil. Before we begin though, in celebration of the holiday season and Black Friday, everything on the Star Wars merch page is 50% off. That means you can get keychains, shorts, hoodies, really everything you want. Get something for yourself or for somebody else as a gift. But again, the entire site linked below is half off. With that said, Acolytes, let us begin. The notion that Yoda trained in the dark side arrives when Dooku is within his meditation in the Legends novel Labyrinth of Evil. Meditating on the dark side and his thoughts, Dooku gives us this passage. More than once, it had occurred to Dooku that Sidious and Yoda had certain qualities in common, principally being that neither was entirely what he appeared to be. That is made frail by age, or by the intensity required to master the Sith or the Jedi arts. On Geonosis, Yoda's easy parry and indeed handling of the Sith lightning Dooku hurled at him had come at a grand surprise to the Count. A moment that made Dooku ponder and wonder if on some level during the course of Yoda's 800 odd years, the Jedi Master hadn't delved into the dark arts if only as a means of familiarizing himself with the perceived enemy, and on Vajun, only months ago, Yoda himself had admitted as much. Carry a darkness within me, I do, Yoda had said. Within this, we have a lot to unpack, and even more to talk about. First, let's address what it meant for Dooku's concern. Yoda's handling of Force Lightning completely unprepared Dooku when Yoda had the ability to catch Force Lightning, Dooku's most powerful and new ability. And even, Yoda managed to throw it back at him. Up until that point, Dooku had been entirely under the delusion that he was stronger than any Jedi, and facing Yoda to be his final test, he believed he was certainly ready for, only to be proven horrifically incorrect. Much to learn you still have. No true words had ever been spoken to Dooku, and the Count was confronted with the evidence that in terms of the Force, he was nowhere near Yoda's level, especially when it came to knowledge. This frightened the Count enough to not only fall back on his blade, but this moment is supremely important to Dooku because it recontextualizes everything that he knew about Yoda. Yoda, even according to Dooku, was something different than he had known about this entire time, something more. Dooku believing that Yoda studied the dark side can be taken in two ways. One, Dooku wasn't aware of the ability of Tuta Minas and mistook it for a dark side power. At the time of the Clone Wars, Force Absorb was extremely rare and advanced, so it's not impossible that this was simply an older ability that Yoda used and was not one that Dooku was familiar with or was taught. With that said though, I find this explanation to be highly unlikely, as someone like Dooku certainly would have learned of Tuta Minas. Even if it was rare, that's what Dooku was all about, and his knowledge on the Jedi, the lightsaber, and the Force was extensive. This leads me to theorize that what Yoda did was something else, and that Dooku was right and Yoda has a secret. What did surprise Dooku though is that Yoda had trained with Tuta Minas in an era that was apparently void of all Sith. And yet, Yoda had studied the power anyway. And this is the question, why does Yoda know an ability that is specifically meant to absorb energy? It's not like he trained to use it against blaster fire. We watch him use his lightsaber for that all the time. Maybe Yoda trained in this ability because he came across it many years ago, in many years of study. Or of course, Yoda may have decided to learn it after facing a dark Jedi who could use force lightning. 
The possibilities are endless, but I think the most important answer and interesting would be that maybe he learned the ability while secretly learning in the dark side itself. Knowing of the power of Force Lightning, the Grandmaster decided to have an ability in his back pocket should the time ever cross where he found a Darksider too powerful for his lightsaber. But of course, Yoda wouldn't know of this unless he studied the accounts of the ancient Sith and how they interacted with Jedi. He wanted to venture even further. Yoda may have actually studied Sith lightning once before, especially after feeling its power, so he decided to develop a counter to it. But let's go ahead and move on. In the beginning, Dooku does the unthinkable. He compares Sidious to Yoda, not in contest with one another, but in similarity with how they conduct themselves. He says that they both look frail and old, but were extremely powerful, more powerful than one could ever imagine. But this is far from the first time that Dooku would compare Yoda to Sidious. The novel takes place only a few months after Yoda Dark Rendezvous, where Yoda references at the end of the quote, during their meeting on Vajun, Yoda had briefly opened himself up to the powers of the dark side. And in the novel, when Yoda did, Dooku says that Yoda appeared as Darth Sidious only worse, calling him a Yoda gone rotten. And this leads Dooku to believe that Yoda had in fact experienced and studied the dark side a long time before. But let's go a little bit deeper. It is curious to Dooku and us how Yoda opened himself to the dark side so easily, and yet how he was able to pull himself back. In Dark Rendezvous, Yoda meets Dooku and has a long discussion with him. And during this talk, Dooku challenges Yoda's ideologies and starts coaxing him with the powers of the dark side. After a lengthy back and forth, Yoda starts to become interested by the offer, and Yoda admits that he is curious why so many of his students had fallen to the darkness. To prove a point, Yoda gives in to the dark side and embraces it, but this did not result in what Dooku expected. Dooku was hit with immense fear when looking upon Yoda, and the Count describes the power of Yoda's darkness being equivalent to, and perhaps even exceeding, that of Sidious. He says that Yoda's appearance morphs and becomes grotesque, covered in shadow just like that of Palpatine. But then, after revealing this terrifying power, Yoda pulls back just as easily, retreating from the dark and back to the light. He learns that the kindly old Jedi that Dooku would never turn, but still, Dooku has known this Jedi his entire life, and Yoda has never embraced the darkness whatsoever. So how was Yoda able to pull back from the dark so easily? It could be explained with Yoda's eight centuries of fondness of the light, but also perhaps that he has some familiarity with the dark that he has never spoken of, at least enough for him to navigate it and find his way in and out. For most Jedi, this would be a slippery slope, but for Yoda, as simple as turning a light on and off. But there is one line that always stuck with Dooku, a line that he is now thinking about in meditation, when Yoda says, Carry a darkness within me, I do. This one sentence convinced Dooku that Yoda had studied the dark side. And when Yoda faces the wellspring of life in Season 6 of The Clone Wars, and while going through the trials of the Force Priestesses, one of Yoda's tests was to defeat the dark side within himself, one that manifested as a black creature resembling Yoda with burning red eyes. This creature continues to taunt Yoda as they fight, and only until Yoda stops denying the dark within himself and acknowledges that it exists, that Yoda defeats this creature. It was only by coming to peace with this truth did Yoda defeat his darker half. And now my friends, with all of this evidence lined up, we do believe that Yoda did in fact study the dark side and never spoke of it, albeit likely briefly. Yoda wanted to know his enemies, and that he might want to know what he would one day be faced with. Yoda likely did this when he was much younger, before the Jedi High Council even. But it is still curious if he did this for purely good reasons, and just to understand the Sith like Luke would later do, or if he was truly tempted by the powers of the dark. Yoda likely was concerned with how much he was drawn to it, leading him to master it and learn how to pull back quickly. If Force Lightning was to be a problem, then two to menace would be the answer. If the rage given to Sith made them powerful duelists, then Yoda's own serenity would fuel his body beyond his years. The Light would reward him for his humility, giving him powers and esoteric knowledge of the Force. However, the experience also traumatized Yoda as soon as he learned what the dark side could give him, and therefore he needed to learn how to pull away. He would learn how to suppress these darker emotions, but there was always still some darkness left within him 
as there is some darkness in all of us. And it was only at the very end, after accepting the teachings of Qui-Gon Jinn, did Yoda truly embrace the Force and transcend the physical. But anyway, my friends, this is the answer. Indeed, Yoda did in fact study the methods and the ways of the dark side to a level that many Jedi would not be capable of only other grandmasters such as Luke Skywalker. But what are your thoughts on this and this grand revelation that Yoda may not have always been as perfect as we had all believed? Again, my friends, be sure to check out the Black Friday deal down below and may the force be with you.